Hi everyone, in this video, I will be showing you how to download and install Postgres SQL along with PG Admin. So let's get started. So first thing you just do to Google and type Postgres SQL download. Now you will see the first link that appear postgres.org. Click on the link and you will be in the official website. You will find the option of to download the Postgres SQL for the different operating system. Since the window, uh, this video is for Windows, so I will be click on the Windows and at the top of it, you will find the download the installer. Now, these are the different type of versions and different type of the operating systems. So I will click on the Windows operating system and click on the latest version. Now, just wait for a few seconds and click on save button. Now, as you can see, a 348 MB file will be start downloading. Now, once this file will download it, I will tell you what are the next steps you need to do. Now, once you have downloaded it's completed, double click on the installer to begin the setup. You will get the Postgres SQL uh, setup wizard. Then click on next installation directory. You can give the any folder that you want to install. So for this video, I will just make the default directory. Click on the next. So we are installing four things, Postgres SQL Server, we are installing PG Admin, Stack Builder and Command Line Tools. So make sure you check all the box. Please don't uncheck any of the boxes. Now click on the next. And the data directory for this particular path, don't change anything, let it be the same path. Click on next. And this is a password. Now you need to set up a password. This is the important. So you remember it every time. So enter the password and click on next. So let me write in my password. Okay, this password is required many further step when we are going to do a command line prop or we are going to writing any query or we are creating any database. So this password is, password is required. So please try to remember the password. Click on the next. And default port number is same. Click on the next. Local should be default. Next. And click on next. Now click on next again. So now the Postgre is installing in my computer. Now just wait for a while. Once the installation is complete, I will show you what are the next step you need to do. So after the installation completes, there will be option of to run the stack builder which help to install the additional tool we can choose this uh, box and click on finish and over here if you click on the post screen click on next so it will trying to get all the list so these are the additional features that you can add or install it for example, the ODC be connected to connect with different of servers and tools so for that I don't require I close this off and yes, so now come to this particular search bar and search for PG admin for and open it. So you will see the PG admin interface appear and then wait for to open this software. And once you see this interface come up, on the left hand side, you will see the server and it's required to the password so remember the password earlier when we are installing the postgres sql that you have wrote so enter the password and click on save password because then you don't have to re-enter it every time click on ok so as you can see now i'm in the postgres admin so if you click on the database over here so by default, no database. So if you want to create a database, right click over here, create database. So give the name of the database. Let's say IB demo DB. This is the by default. I'm giving the name of over here. And these are the, the other feature like the definition, security, parameter, advanced SQL. So this is a query. If you want to write a query to create a database, you can write over here. But we are creating the database from the interface. So we don't require any query and click on save. And as you can see, a database is now created. Now we have created the database. Now let's create a table. So how to can create a table? If you come over here in the schema part, in the schema under the public, you will see the table. So if you click over here, right click, create table, and you can give the name of the table, whatever you want to give, columns. 
you can click on add columns you can give the name of the column okay name and you can select the data type you can select the length scale is it null value is it primary key and foreign key or by default so this is a way you can create a table from the interface so i will close this one no and then i will what will i do i will click on the schema on the database and click on the query tools so once you click on the query tool this is a where where you can write your query okay let's create a table so create table customer and give a column name let's say as a custom id integer name as varchar 100 okay so let me remove as part now you can see now put semicolon over here and now select the query and click on run as you can see your query has been successfully run so if you come over here schema part under and click on the tables you will see the customer table has been created so in this is the way you can use this postgresql and how you can install into your local system so if you like this video please give a thumbs up and comment down the below which topic you want to discuss in the next so thank you for the watching the video i'll see you on the next video